All righty, ladies and gentlemen, it is time for your late night hell in the cell review. Um, I was doing a live show earlier today on this page, a live reaction to the pay per view, and I got a strike for some reason, some type of false flag, I don't know, but I have a strike now on my channel. Um, it stopped the live stream or whatever. It's completely fucked up everything there. So if you guys want, you can sub to my backup channel. Um, this is why WJ needs backup channels. Because I always get motherfucking strikes or whatever. But yeah, um, links in the description. In the first match, Alberto Del Rio made his return and defeated Cena for the U.S. title. Um, it's a, a good thing to have Del Rio back, a former world champion, so they can have more matches and shit for the belt, you know. Um, second match, Roman Reigns defeated Bray Wyatt, and this match was way better than I thought it would be. You had a couple of headshots a little bit with weapons there. Just, you know, throwing each other into weapons pretty much. But a couple of spears through tables and shit like this. So it turned out to be pretty good. Especially for a Roman Reigns match, you know. Um, third match, the New Day defeated the Dudleys, which was a bit depressing there was a huge botch in this match there with like some kind of back breaker leg drop thing they tried to do but they fucked it up hard it looked horrible um the match wasn't much and a cheap finish so i wasn't too too thrilled with this match there Fourth match, Charlotte defeated Nikki Bella. They did this big flip botch thing. So, another fucking botch in that match. Um, it wasn't really a good match either. So, just garbage pretty much. Fifth match, Seth Rollins defeated Kane. And for a world title match, this was pretty cheap. The uneventful finish. Fuck all happened in this match. A boring ass feud. And a boring ass match. This fucking sucked there. Sixth match. Kevin Owens defeated Ryback. Match was like four or five minutes long. There wasn't <laughs> anything to talk about here. Just throw away garbage that should have been on SmackDown instead. So... And in the main event, Brock Lesnar defeated The Undertaker. It wasn't a bad match. It was an okay match. Um, what I fucking hated was Brock was bleeding. Okay. Doctor runs in, takes off the blood. This is in the Hell in a Cell match. It's supposed to be badass. You have this doctor running in there, taking off the blood. This just fucking ruined it for me. I, you know, didn't really care as much after that there. It killed it for me, you know. Um, at one point, Taker and Brock were both bleeding. It's supposed to be cool there. Taker and Brock in the cage. They're both bleeding. Brock hits an... Uh, his finish there he goes to hit the other finisher the doctor runs in starts wiping the blood off of them and shit it's just while brock was going to set up his finish i believe there the doctor runs in to start fucking wiping both of their blood it just looked fucking stupid it looked ridiculous. This is a fucking cage match, damn it. What the fuck are they doing with these doctors ruining the moment? You know, <laughs> the fuck is this? That was fucking lame as hell. Um, 
an okay match, but this doctor just fucking ruined it for me. I think the pay-per-view was cheap, to be honest. It could have been way better. You had a couple of okay matches. Del Rio came back. The, the main event was okay. Two big names, but it could have been better. This doctor thing just ruined it for me, you know. I don't think this pay-per-view was that good. It was all right there. I could maybe give it a five or something, but uh, it was cheap at the same time there. So, yeah, um, you can sub to my backup if you want. <laughs> Fucking channel has another strike there. It ain't easy being WJ, dog. It ain't easy. Until next time, peace.